Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up the PS4 or like connect the PS4 controller up to your Windows machine so you can use it on the EPSXE emulator and I'm going to show you the wired option and the other wireless mode as well which I'll briefly show you how to do that. So first of all, let me start recording on my phone so you can you know see the controller now and like i said i'm going to connect it via a micro usb cable you can use the one that comes with the controller i'm using the one that came out with my xbox because you know it's super long and the other end obviously just goes into your computer so what you want to first do is download something called ds for windows this this is just some driver that basically makes the controller look like it's Xbox 360 controller 360 controllers work a lot better in general uh, so you just download this zip file I'm gonna cancel it because I've already got it downloaded and mine's right here so what you want to do now is right click it go to extract or click extract and you just open this up you do the update at a later date if you want to update it I'm not you know doing that because this is the first time and I've just downloaded it so click app data or if you want to be a bit more advanced and have a more portable version do program folder but most people app data is fine click that and what you will get is it, it's not happening for me because I've already done it you'll have another window pop up that I'll say you know install and then there'll, the, there'll be three steps step one is install step two you can you have to do if it's Windows 7 or older which most people won't have but if you do it's a very simple step otherwise you skip to step three and but yeah that's what you would get so and then now what we can do is go ahead and open up EPSXE and now let's actually connect this up there we go and it's actually picked it up in the controllers and let me disconnect it let me show you what you would do if you was doing the Bluetooth version you would press share on the PlayStation button to, together for three seconds and this will start flashing to indicate that you're in pairing mode like so that's in pairing mode now and then you would just go to your Bluetooth settings and then from here you go to add Bluetooth device click Bluetooth it's not gonna work for me because I don't actually have Bluetooth on my Windows machine it's a custom build just don't have it and yeah so that's how you would do if you had Bluetooth so I'm gonna click that so it stops flashing and there we go okay so let's go back to the wired version but that's how you would you know do if you were wireless and then you just you know connect it up if it asks you for a code for the controller it's just zero 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 so it's four zeros if he ever does and okay so that's all connecting now go to config gamepad port one pad one we gotta you know sort all of this out and you can go to the dual analog which if you want to map the analog sticks as well similar process i'm just going to do the digital and so click that i'm going to do r2 Okay, so if you get this problem where it doesn't basically, you know, map it, you want to go back to DS4 Windows, go to here, go to Add Programs, go to Directory, go to this piece, or, you know, wherever your emulator is, mine's in the Downloads area, and this folder right here this one right there click OK click that and now okay it's still okay do, 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 do. okay that's strange let me just go back onto it okay so that's what it was uh, let's just go back onto this again So there we go. So you just need to add it here, make sure this is closed, reopen it, and now let's map it. Triangle, circle, X, square, start, and we'll do that as select. 
Now let's start mapping all this as well. Right, down, left, up, L1, L2. Now click OK. That's it. We're all good to go. So we can actually just run a game now. So to run ISO, I think my video is just about to stop. Let me see if it does. I'll have to hit re-record. No, nope, it's still going. Okay, I thought five minutes was going to stop for some reason. Um, I'm going to click escape. Go to load state because I've got the state loaded up here. And one other thing I want to show you is I also have this problem when I connected up the PS4 controller sometimes that it would override the sound. So go to sound settings and make sure you've got but Dr. Cortex, we have not determined the cause of past failures. More! This bandicoot will be my general. And he will lead my Cortex commander into world domination. This time I shall reign triumphant. We are closer than ever before. Quickly! Into okay. So, let me just get in here and start playing a bit. 